Hey, how's it going? It is the Hoff here, and today we have something that I went out and bought. I want to keep my house safe, and right now I'm going through a divorce, which I can't really talk too much about, but this is also going to keep everything um, safe as far as being able to know who at least comes into my front door, and I'm hoping to acquire... Um, the new Simply Safe, uh, or I should say not the new, but the security system to go along with this, uh, with some cameras and the uh, door alarms and all that good stuff. Uh, so if Simply Safe watches this and you want to send it to me, you know, business contact emails down below. Uh, apart from that, let's open this up and get to the install video out by the doorbell. So if you don't know what this is, this is the Simply Safe doorbell. This one is the Doorbell Pro, as they call it. Um, it's supposed to be really easy that you just remove your doorbell, you fasten the mounting bracket, and then you attach the doorbell. Uh, this one will work with the Google Home or the Alexa product. So if you have the um, uh, Amazon Show, Sorry, you should know that one. be able to use it. Yes, she heard me. So you should be able to use it if you have the Amazon Show and be able to uh, see it. And then you can use your phone, which here it looks like they just have an older iPhone and it will alert you. So the doorbell specs here, you have three colors. So you have a cloud, a jade, which is more of a light teal kind of green and then obsidian, which is black. Then you can choose uh, those three face plates then you have your specs here. So it's going to do HDR imaging, which is really nice. You get 1080 HD, so 1080p. That's great. Two-way audio, so you and the person can both communicate just in case you don't want to answer the door, you're not home, whatever the case may be. You have smart motion detection, so it's going to let you know that someone's come up to your door regardless if they hit the door button. Motion alert, so same deal. And then pan and zoom. So she should be able to pan away and zoom and you get a 162 degree field of view. So without further ado, let's break this tape open. Let's actually look at it a little closer, see what comes inside. And I like this one because it's also supposed to work with the door chimes, which is another thing I wanted to make sure of. So, First things first is you have the doorbell itself. And on it, you have the white obsidian. And on that, you got the stickers. So you have what looks to be a sensor there, possible mic there, and then your camera's up here. There's a protective uh, film to peel off and your button is down here. On the back, which uh, I won't show, but it says simply safe. It's the model number of it. And you have your serial number and you have the uh, scan code, which I'm assuming is how you connect the app, but we will figure that one out in just a moment. Here you have your mounting bracket and there are screws right there uh, that should give it power to mount and be good to go. And then it looks like you have double-sided sticky tape to hold it up besides the screws. And then taking this piece off, we have a few other things that you may need. So a few other things you may need. There's a little pull tab here. And the first part is you have your installation guide, which I will review that in just a second. You have your alternate face plates. Then back here, you should have everything you really need. It gives you an angled base. So in case you want to have it more tilted and then you have a small mini screwdriver and you have screws and 
that should be everything. So four screws, angled bracket, and before we even get to the outside portion, let's go ahead and break off the jade because I'm going to install the jade version of this. And instead of having to cut it, you should just be able to, there you go, pull it just like that. And then this is just clipped on. So we should just be able to pop that off. And pop on the jade and put the film back on. So there is the jade. There is also a speaker at the bottom and a hole at the bottom. So there you have it on that. Now, what I will do is we will talk about the installation guide right here. So it's fairly simple. You turn off the power to your doorbell at the circuit breaker. So that's going to be really important. You don't want to shock yourself or have any issues with electrical power still going to your current doorbell. Turn off each of the switch one at a time and attempting to see if you press the doorbell and it still rings. Then you should remove your existing doorbell, which that should be self-explanatory. You're gonna to have to do that and wrap the wires around the pencil. You use tape to prevent them from falling back into the wall. So that's kind of more self-explanatory, but you wanna make sure that your wires are still exposed where you can grab them to push them through the doorbell bracket, whether you go with the angled bracket right here, or you go with the bracket right here and you want to push them through this hole where my thumb is at. So then after you thread the wires through the bracket, you are going to screw the mounting points through the top hole right there where my index finger is at and that bottom hole using the bottom hole to adjust for height and the top hole you can adjust for left or right. Once that is complete, you want to put the connecting wires to the mounting bracket. Each wire goes to each screw and they should wrap around the screw and place them to the left of the screw. So in the photo, it shows it curved around to the left, if you can see that right there. Then after that, you should just have to slide your doorbell into place until it clicks down, and then you turn the power back on. So without further ado, let's jump right into the actual installation part. Okay. So here we have the part where you're supposed to take off your old doorbell if you are not doing a new house. So the first thing you want to do is take off the screws, and then once you get the screws, you'll see the wire on your old doorbell. Take those two wires off and be cautious, they could be old. Then pick out the back plate you want, whether it's flush or you want the angled back plate. Take the protective uh, blue cardboard plastic thing off the back of the back plate and go ahead and break out your screws and screw them in either the old holes or new holes depending on how you want to mount your doorbell. Once you have the doorbell back plate on is when you're going to grab the wire that you should have sticking out and you want to go ahead and make sure it's pulled out while you're going and putting on the back plate so it doesn't fall in. And you want to kind of straighten the wires out, but be a little cautious because those wires could be older and they could easily break. And then you're going to strip back the shielding to expose some more of the wiring again. So it doesn't take much. Just go ahead and do that. And you want to round it off 
around the screw so you can screw them down. The screws won't come all the way out, so you're gonna have to flatten out and then round it off a bit. It's not too much work, it's kind of easy. You just gotta be a little cautious. After that, you go ahead and put the doorbell on, and then you put the special screw on the bottom that has its own special uh, star style uh, screw top, and then we get into the software itself on the app and that is pretty easy it's going to say what is your wi-fi then you're going to put in your password and as soon as you're done putting in your password for your wi-fi it is going to tell you which doorbell you want this to be for what door and then it's going to ask you is it flashing and then it's going to tell you that a code will pop up and it wants you to scan this code on the doorbell for the doorbell to see it. That code is going to allow the doorbell to connect to your Wi-Fi. That way you don't have to do nothing special to make it super easy for you. It does take a little bit of time because your doorbell's gotta find the Wi-Fi, connect to your Wi-Fi, so you gotta make sure you have a decent signal strength by your doorbell that's gonna provide you with the best clarity for sound and video as well. Once that is done, as you'll see here, it's gonna take a little bit, then it will eventually pop up with this to check your camera. And upon doing so, you'll be able to check the clarity for video and audio of your camera. After that, you can look at the settings, but I will tell you the settings are pretty much set from the factory to be the best settings possible. After that, I will go ahead and Wait a little bit for a couple days, do some testing, and then give you my honest feedback opinion. Okay, so it's been a few days working with this camera, and I must say, as far as I can tell, this is an amazing doorbell camera. So the clarity is on point, whether it's daytime, nighttime, I had no issue seeing any of the items that I needed to see on camera or the people. The audio was spot on. Yes, of course, because it's going over Wi-Fi, there's going to be a delay, but the delay shouldn't matter because the purpose of it is to see who is there. You can also use this camera to connect to the other Simply Safe security system, or you can just use it by itself, which then you can go ahead and do the record if you set up for it, so it will record into the cloud and you can check your recordings. The one thing I first initially thought was going to be somewhat of annoyance, but I kind of like the idea now, is the fact that you must hold the microphone button to talk and release it to hear the people. First, I thought that might be annoying. I just wanna be able to just talk. Now, maybe to have a button that you press on the screen that's gonna allow you to just not have to physically hold the button, you just tap it and it holds the microphone button until you tap again would be nice. But the idea of having the app pop up and immediately someone be able to hear you is not a good idea. So I kinda of like that it doesn't do that. Overall, I will say this is one of the better cameras, doorbell systems I have seen out there, and you can integrate it within the Simply Safe market so you're not having to pay for the other security systems like Vivid or ADT. This can be a standalone or it can incorporate with Simply Safe. No, I am not affiliated or sponsored by Simply Safe, but if they should happen to want to do so, I would greatly appreciate other Simply Safe products. And I will link this down below so you can get this from Amazon on any day that it is sale or not sale. This camera is completely worth it, and I highly suggest this camera right here for a doorbell camera. And I'm hoping you guys have enjoyed the video. I'm hoping you guys will go ahead and hit that like so other people can see the installation process 
and understand that this is one of right now the best camera systems for doorbells on the market and that you guys are hopefully subscribed so we can build that fan base up and go ahead and get more incoming products because that's virtually what I do. I don't make money off of here, but when I do, it's bringing you guys more products, even though I really have to take care of other stuff as well. I still try to provide as much content as fast as I can to you guys until I can work out other stuff and let you guys know what's going on. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time.